All right, guys, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. More on this girl at the end of the video. Today's video, we're looking at this foot right here. And the first thing you're gonna notice is how deep this heel is. If we look on this lateral claw, there's a lot of depth there. And what that usually means is we've got a problem inside there. So if we swing around to the other side, you can see there's a split up near the top. And that in turn means we likely have a problem in the white line right here. So let's get started on this and see if I'm right. Now, if you've ever noticed when I'm trimming, the opposing claw from the problem one will oftentimes have a lot of debris and stuff packed in it and a lot of imperfections in the bottom of that sole. And a lot of times that can be confusing to many people as far as why or how I know that there's not a problem when those things happen. Well, in this case, it's just some incomplete shedding. These cows are housed on sand, and what that means is, is that that's a fairly natural environment for a cow's hoof. So they're going to go, or they're going to begin to go through that natural shedding process, which means that hoof will start to slough off on its own. When it does that, it's going to leave some pockets, and that's how that debris gets up underneath there. Now, whether or not there's a problem there, that comes down to experience. And a lot of times, most of what we see on the medial claw and back feet is just simply imperfections from their normal living conditions. Now, when it comes to this lateral claw, I think it's pretty obvious where that problem is. And as expected, there's a pretty sizable flaw in that white line with separation both above and separation down below. So that's what we're gonna need to remove now to fully expose this. As we've talked about in previous videos, however, this problem is not directly below that mark in the sole, it's actually up higher. If you haven't spotted it yet, it will become clearer in just a moment. Right at the tip of my finger is where that disruption is. If you notice right below that, that's that access point that I was talking about earlier and that flaw that we could see in the sole of the foot. Now that wall horn is a little more difficult to cut through, so I'm gonna use my grinder to thin that down a bit. Now this is the area right here that I need to get freed up so I can get it cleaned and aired out. Now that I've determined the scope of this problem and I know that this block isn't gonna get in my way, I can apply that now. A quick spray down allows me to see the margins of what I'm dealing with here. As I work through this, you can see that separation between that wall and that sole.
Now that we've got the majority of that freed up, we can get it sprayed down well, clear up any loose edges, and get this wrapped with salicylic acid. Now don't forget, as we let this cow go, we've got a little more footage of that crazy heifer whipping her tongue around. And she's off. Now back to that goofy cow from the beginning of the video. What was she doing? Well, I don't know for certain. My guess is either her tongue itched or maybe she had a piece of hay caught in between her teeth. I can only imagine what it'd be like to try to get a popcorn kernel out of my teeth without having hands. But as I moved in to get a better look, she noticed me watching her and she gave me that look like what? You've never seen a cow scratch her tongue before? Oh well, silly cows. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.